Okay, <clears throat> so we'll start this by looking at someone who's standing at the North Pole, latitude 90 degrees north, and this is on the 21st of March, which is the vernal equinox, uh, and we can see that the sun's altitude is zero degrees. And if we start the animation, let it go forward, we can see that sun rises, uh, gains altitude as the Earth moves into the position where the North Hemisphere is pointing towards the Sun. So this is around about midsummer and the Sun comes up to 23.5 degrees, um, but then goes down again, of course. And we're heading into darkness now as we pass the autumnal equinox round about now and it's dark and we're in complete darkness as you can see here uh, the sun's uh, rays never reaches the North Pole so this is pretty dreary time at the North Pole so up here we've got um, daylight um, half the year and night half the year. Now let's move a little further down south. So let's say we move down to about 66 and a half or something. Uh, here we come up to what's, I mean this line here is, is the polar circle, the north polar circle, and from that position we gain in midsummer a pretty good altitude of the sun, so 40 degrees or something, but uh, as we go down now we see that as we come closer to the autumnal equinox the sun actually goes down to around about zero degrees, but then turns and goes up again. So we're just slightly above the polar circle there, we went dark for a little while. Going down further south, let's say to southern Europe, at, well, let's say, 40 degrees or something, or we, we get a solar altitude which is very high. It's uh, 70 degrees in midsummer, and the sun goes down very quickly here. Uh, it just drops down into the sea, not like at the um, uh, more northern latitudes where we get these lovely um, sunsets for hours at a time, but once the sun drops then half an hour later it's dark, which is always a bit eerie from us, for, for us people coming from the north. Now coming in on, um, on the winter solstice here, the sun reaches a low of some 27 degrees, but I mean, that's pretty high compared to northern latitudes. Let's go even further south. Let's go down halfway between the equator and the, um, and the Tropic of Cancer, or the latitude of some 10 degrees north. Um, we're coming up to midsummer now, and altitude of the sun is actually towards the north here and it's now coming up and the sun is directly overhead 90 degrees or something so we have the sun sort of switching between lying towards the north or not lying towards the south more towards the south because we're still slightly north of the equator but it does get up to 
north to, to pointing towards the north actually taking northern path and the sky around us and uh, at some position in the year we have a, a solar path which crosses directly overhead at zenith which is about now ish there we go now going down to the equator itself yeah roughly well, roughly there uh, we can see that the sun's path is as much towards the north as it is towards the south depending on what time of year it is uh, but uh, so the altitude is always high it's it's actually always larger than some 66.5 degrees and some and, and again twice a year uh, it will lie directly overhead when well it seems as if it's the equinoxes right makes sense and of course this just keeps on but reverses if you go down south so let's just drop down to the southern um, hemisphere near antarctica at minus 66 degrees or something and the sun's rays comes from the north and uh, does not climb very high. I'll just go for this. This is winter time in the northern hemisphere, but in the southern hemisphere, of course, it's summer. So we're coming to uh, what we in up here in north would call the winter solstice, but really down in Antarctica, it's more like this the summer solstice reaching an altitude of, of some 47 degrees again um, but now we're going towards autumn um, which of course is in March uh, now and now we're moving into winter and the sun's rays coming from the north are getting very low indeed and in fact since we're so far down it goes just down to about zero before rising again 